Hello guys, Respiration36 here, and I'm back with another video today. Today's going to be a nice little tutorial. Before I actually get started, though, I do want to go ahead and apologize. I haven't posted in around three weeks, and uh, a lot of stuff's been going on. School has been picking up and sports and stuff, but I'm going to be trying to post uh, more frequently. So hopefully, you know, that's going to be a little bit better. But today, what we're going to be doing is making cool little logos like this. Um... It usually works better with three letters. Um, uh, as you can see, I I use both of these for three, but you can still use it with two, and uh, it's pretty well. And it's pretty simple. Um, this one's the more advanced version, and this one's the simpler one. And it's really just one simple font that you have to use, and you can just uh, edit the last letter to uh, sort of rotate itself around. But today we're gonna be um, go ahead and making three different letters and I haven't really uh, thought of any letters so I'm just gonna you know pick some maybe like OPT there, there we go OPT so uh, go ahead before we actually start if you're following along with the tutorial go down to the description and download the font in the description um, I'll leave a link for that but basically it's called hex and as you can see here it looks pretty weird but it's a uh, it's pretty good font and it's really simple to use. So what you're gonna do, so OPT, as you can see, this isn't what we're going for yet. So what you're gonna want to do, do your center letter as a capital letter and your last letter as just a lowercase letter. Actually, scratch that. Make a new layer first, then type your first letter as a lowercase, your second letter as an uppercase, and then you're gonna want to create a new layer and type your third uh, letter as a lowercase and make sure all of these are the same size or else it'll uh, sort of mess up how they are aligned and things like that but as you can see this isn't really what we want in these other ones it sort of uh, makes a hexagon and it goes up and down on each sides but this one is kind of messed up this T is sort of messing things up so what we're gonna do make sure we just have the T selected and we're gonna go to layers flip horizontal then layers you can flip vertical if you want this one uh, with a T since it's not uh, symmetrical vertical ways uh, it's not very useful so I'm just gonna keep it as uh, flipped horizontally and it still seems to work out pretty well so we can pull it in closer or uh, farther away we can also add a line to make this longer but I'm thinking that looks pretty good so I'm gonna merge those two layers down and uh, make it a bit bigger and that's really all you need to do for you know the main idea of the logo I'm gonna go ahead and center this in the very center um, if you want to you know get this sort of triangle rhombus or whatever you can go ahead and just make a new layer go to the shapes and select triangle and then click this once and it'll fill itself and you can hold shift to make it like a perfect triangle as you can see and um, then you can go to rotate layers rotate and zoom and then change this first number to 90 and uh, once you do that it flips around like this then you can move it to really any part you want and uh, once you find a good spot, you can go ahead and do the image, uh, flip horizontal, and then you can, whoops, make a new layer and paste that on there again, and then add a diamond. Of course, the more you mess around with the diamonds and make it perfectly uh, lined up with the letters, as far as like, you can still see that there's a distance in between these two. Uh, you want to try to get those perfect. Um, both of these examples right here, I didn't really take that much time to get those lined up, but the better you get them lined up, the better this rhombus will look. And um, then, of course, if you want to just uh, use the letters without the triangles, you can put a nice hexagon around it. Uh, if we select hexagon here and make sure it's not filled anymore, you can hold shift and uh, up the brush width and that fits perfectly around there as well so hopefully you guys enjoyed this little tutorial it's a really simple logo design and um, it's kind of fun making them uh, again they can work with two letters but I think they work better with three and um, also with this font before um, you go ahead and try it out it doesn't do letter or it doesn't do numbers 
you can see like if I try to type let's say my numbers three and six it does this weird hexagon stuff and I don't really know what it means so if you're wanting to do with numbers don't you know don't mess with this because it's not really the best way and also if you have any other fonts that work really well with this sort of design go ahead and leave it in the description or leave it in a comment so I can sort of mess around with it because I really like messing around with these fonts and uh, thank you guys for watching hopefully you enjoy and I'll see you guys next time peace Thank you.